So Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Therefore we also, since, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily and sin ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, for who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of God, at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. We also read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 32 and through 38. <coughs> By faith the hallowed, sorry, and what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised of, of life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Verse 36, still others had trial of mockings, and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sown into two, were tempted, were slain with sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth. Praise be to Jesus. You know, finishing the race, and our key point is here, focusing uh, uh, unto Jesus, you know, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. You know, it is one thing to start, uh, to begin a race, and it is another thing to finish the race. There is what we call the finishing, the, the, the finishing line. And um, well, very much well acquainted with that because maybe you can see, you can tell that I was once a, sp uh, a splinter. <laughs> uh, I did that in my primary school and also in high school. I uh, played soccer, so many things, rugby, you know, so many games. I remember in, uh, in primary school, uh, I did some race, you know, we would go, I don't know how many meters, 400 meters around the field. Uh, we were supposed to take two, two, two what, two laps, eh? But I had not practiced enough. I didn't know there were, you know, you needed a coach like what we see today. <laughs> so I led actually the first lap I led. But on the second one, I, I, I had some muscle cramps. <laughs> I had surprised both legs. <laughs> and I just knelt in the field. <laughs> and I could now see people just passing by and you know, and I was the first one. 
And you know there were two girls who were cheering me and I was like running for them. <laughs> but oh <laughs> so I didn't finish the race. And in high school I, I did the hundred meters. <laughs> I represented my the school. Uh, that's in Gilgil, Neto Tumishi Academy. And uh, you know there were the first hits like you are doing you are not doing the final but it's like you are being selected on who will go to the final. And I remember trying, uh, uh, leading also the, the first, the, the hundred meters. But when I was in the middle, <laughs> I thought there was a mistake because I couldn't see anybody around me. <laughs> and I looked back. And then everybody now came passing by and I, I was the second one. <laughs> But in the final hit, I, 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 I got disciplined, I disciplined myself, I said, I'll just run. <laughs> and I remember running with all my strength and my heart. <laughs> and my, you know, my, we call them houses, eh? you know, about high schools. And, and, and there were those who were waiting for me and cheering and I remember you know, touching the finishing line what a joy <laughs> I screamed so loud I finished the race and I marked the, the first one hallelujah hallelujah so finishing the race, Paul talks of, you know, we are in a race, but there is a difference between the race that we are used to in this world and the race that Paul is talking about. The race that Paul talks about, uh, we, we are all winners, you know. We, we all, <laughs> <laughs> we all touch the finishing line. <laughs> so there is not the who is the first who take the gold medal, the silver, or the bronze. <laughs> Hallelujah! But there is something that is going on in our in our in our Christian uh, circle that. Uh, we are overtaking one another, you know, there's something that is called, I've had it recently, like overtaking grace, something like that. But I believe Marshall has his, uh, the way God has called him. <laughs> and there's a way that God has called me. And my sister here, and my brother there so there is no way I will overtake you, it, you are... <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah that's not the kind of race we are, we, we are in hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the Lord so I was focusing on the finishing line and I will not let anyone or anything distract me Paul says we are soldiers of Christ. And so and soldiers of Christ don't entangle themselves with worldly issues. They are focused so that they may finish the race joyfully. But to do that, fair is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We look unto him. We look unto him as we run this race. We should not take our eyes off Jesus. Otherwise, we'll be running on our own. If we, if we don't focus on Jesus, whom the Bible says he's the author and the finisher 
of this grace of faith. We will be doing it on our own strength. On our own understanding. And on our own little wisdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus is the out and the finish of our faith. And if we focus on him, if you look unto Jesus, we will make it. Hallelujah. Then there is the, 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 the what the Bible calls a cloud of witnesses. Uh, umat, eh? Mashahid. <laughs> Hallelujah. A, a cloud of witnesses. You know, uh, the, the best uh, way as a Christian, the, the best way you can live is, you know, uh, my, my pastor who passed on uh, in March this year. He told me of. A, a fat Christian, F A T, Christian, a, a fat Christian. <laughs> yeah, it says F stands for faithful, a faithful. A stands for availability. A and T stands for teachability or teachable. <laughs> says with those three things you become a fat Christian <laughs> and I'll tell you the best way is to learn from those who have been before you amen, amen. so they, they ran the race they have seen it all maybe not all but they've seen a lot than you have you have and I'm talking of that uh, teachability being teachable the Bible talks of a cloud of witnesses mashahidi wingula mashahidi a cloud of witnesses you know those people who have been before us those people who walked with God those people who tasted the goodness of God they had successes they had failures but they still focused on this goal and they made it they finished the race hallelujah hallelujah the bible now connects chapter 11 with chapter 12 the, the, that chapter 12 is connected with chapter 11 and chapter 11 we know it talks about faith but these people who are mentioned in that chapter 11 they are the ones who are being called a cloud of witnesses in chapter 12 hallelujah and uh, so they, they are mentioned maybe just mentioned not reading it some of them are mentioned here and we are like oh even even Reha. <laughs> she is a hero of faith even Samson is mentioned here and we, 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 we think he didn't finish well <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah but he came back to the Lord so the Bible talks of by faith Abel did this by faith Enoch by faith Noah by faith Abraham I'm just highlighting eh? by faith we have more, more uh, Sarah we have Moses hallelujah we have Isaac we have Jacob yeah, we have Joseph we have Rahab in verse 31 
We have, and, and then the part that we have, we have read says, you know, the, the writer doesn't have all the time to tell us about these great people. He, so, he talks of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, and the prophets. Uh, so I'd like to I'd like you to look at this uh, three two sides of the coin. Uh, I call them two sides of the coin. You know we are not we are not only called you know, to, to enjoy. We are also called to suffer. To make to make And I'm very sure before the church is where it is today. This, this man of God and I believe. It looks like yeah, there's some connection here. Maybe if I'm not wrong, it should be the wife. <laughs> ah, good. And they have labored, and together with members here, <laughs> some discouraging times, <laughs> and sometimes God encouraging you. <laughs> we are called in all these things. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but the good thing is, Jesus is in the midst of all of, of it all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> You know, in verse 33, chapter 11, verse 33, to 35, we have that one side of the coin. You know, success, miracles happen. While they were running this race, the Bible talks of what most Christians want to hear. And the one side of the coin. It says, through faith, subdued kingdoms. We all have victory, don't we? We love, we, we like being victorious in everything, isn't it? But it's not always. Hallelujah. So, uh, subdued kingdoms, they work righteousness, obtain promises, stop the mouth of lions. Pastor, that would make a good sermon. Yeah, we will stop the mouth of lions. <laughs> but, but that's on one side of the coin. <laughs> you know, the heroes of faith. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. I mean, verse 34. Out of weaknesses were made strong. Became valiant in battle. Time to flight the armies of the aliens. Wow, that sounds good. <laughs> now let's look on the other side of the coin, verse 35. No, but okay, let's continue. It's from verse 36. So the, 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 we are still on the, the, the one side of the coin. Women receive their dead, raised to life again. But from the from that five, we maybe we'll say part B. It says others were tortured. Now this is the other side of the coin now. Most of us don't want to hear that, isn't it? You want to succeed and all that. It says others were tortured. Not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of mockings and scourgings. Yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were told they were sold into two. <laughs> so uh, they were sown into two, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins. 
and God skins being destitute, afflicted and tormented of whom the word was not worthy they, were, they wandered in deserts and mountains in dens and caves of the earth that's the crown of witnesses <laughs> they experienced the both sides of, of this race sometimes things will not go as, uh, as we thought they would go there will be mountains to climb there will be discouragements there will be victories there will be successes but no matter what happens let us look unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith let all men, all men be liars but God is faithful he is faithful to take us through we've been through some hard times the church is, has been picked on during these times but God has remained to be faithful hallelujah let us run this race and that is what the Bible says let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance you know, endurance the cloud of witnesses mashahidi they endured amen, amen. amen. hallelujah we are also called to endure and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith for who for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross he endured the cross so he is faithful he is reliable a song is sung that he walked a mile in our shoe hallelujah so he can help us sometimes we will like you know backs, we talk of backsliding <laughs> you know when we say we are backslidden we have not yet fallen we are backsliding you know you are almost falling you are backsliding you know to slide eh? but this, we always say if you don't watch then you might fall <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah but Jesus is faithful if he, if, if, he, if he repent he is faithful he will hold our hands and we continue in the race hallelujah don't take your eyes off Jesus let us focus on him let us look unto him for he is faithful whether we are going through challenges through trials and temptations whether we are enjoying success we should not get our eyes off Jesus for he is the author and the finisher of our faith Bible says he endured such hostility from sinners against himself as we are saying we should also endure or else we become weary or the, and discouraged in, your, in our souls hallelujah we will not be discouraged we will focus on Jesus 
the hour and the finish of our faith. We know we are in trying times because we know what is all over in the world today. But we will focus on Jesus. We will look unto Him who endured everything, every pain that there is in this world. That we may like, might look unto Him whenever we are in discouragement and troubles. And be strengthened on our knees. I'll finish this race. My sister, my brother, you can also finish the race. Hallelujah. We will also join the cloud of witnesses. So we have a cloud of witnesses. They are, and they are telling us, we made it. You can also make it. Hallelujah. Let us look unto Jesus. I would like us to be on our feet now.